So it's Fraser Chesterman at People and Technology, here I am, and I just want to introduce the first episode that we'll be running for People and Technology, and this talks a little bit about their story, where they come from as a business, and where they are today. I wanted to find out a little bit more about the history, where you come from as a business, and where you are today. So tell us a bit about the, the story of People in Technology. Okay, so the story of the People in Technology born to make rotogravel uh, cylinder silicone uh, just for the ceramic uh, market. Mm -hmm. So we are in the, in the cluster of the ceramic, and uh, at that time, uh, the only uh, technology that we can use to decorate the, the tiles are retrogravel. Yeah, of course. But very fast is coming the injet, and we need to think how to move from the rotogravel who will be disappeared faster, and, uh, and uh, looking for a, a new niche to be there. So basically, when ceramics started using digital, you recognized that and thought, hey, listen, we can, we can, we can make this work for the region. So you developed cleaning technology for digital print, inkjet printing on ceramics. Is that right? Is right. So we are uh, we are seeing that the printhead, which is the main uh, part of the printer, it's uh, getting faster clogged nozzles. Yeah. Especially because the uh, ceramic market is a little bit dirty. Yeah. Let's say you know? uh, So we are developing that technology. But uh, very fast we see that uh, we can offer also that technology, not only in the ceramic market, but in the and other markets like corrugated or uh, fabric and so on. Hello, uh, my name is Nestor Pascual. I'm the software manager of People and Technology. Our department uh, is one of the most important parts of the company. So we develop our own applications to offer the best solutions for our customers. Our mission is to develop applications to interact with the machinery that we produce. We produce machinery around the world. So we need to keep constantly updated with the last innovative solutions. Our team is a multidisciplinary team because we are not only focused on software. We also need to know about the context where the machines will be used. We need to know who will use the machine and how will they use the machine. We collaborate with a lot of companies and a lot of inject manufacturers uh, related with uh, printheads, lamps, or other kind of systems related with inject. This partnership means that we are constantly uh, learning and updating our knowledge about inject systems. For us, it's very important to listen to the requirement of our customers because we are constantly developing new features to our applications and we are integrating new features for them. In the last years, people and technology has been positioning itself as a reference in the inject technology world. Now, what are you doing as a business today? What is the difference? You, you, have, you have cleaning services in-house. You're also able to offer it externally. Uh, we are offering both. So we are selling the, the machines because there is big companies that uh, they need uh, to have the machine in-house because uh, that make uh, to them independent. And uh, also there is companies who want to buy our technology to place uh, service to the third company, focus only in cleaning service. Brilliant. But uh, also we need to offer uh, cleaning service because there is a small companies who they are not able to buy the machine because of the cost. Another thing very important for us is uh, that w because we are collecting preheads across the world with many technology, I mean uh, UV inks, uh, water-based ink, uh, oil-based, uh, that allow us to make a continuous R&D, which is really very important for us. Yeah, yeah. And we'll find out more in the next episodes about that R&D development. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we've got four of these episodes, so we look forward to finding out a bit more about the story around people and technology and what they do. Thank you very much. <laughs>